Well, I keep a check on this often. I do, and uh, I do some over there, and over there where my mother and my husband is. This North Texas woman is looking for witnesses after someone vandalized her family's gravesite. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. First at 5.30, for 58 years, a woman has been visiting Long Creek Cemetery in Sunnyvale, just east of Mesquite, to spend time with her in-laws. Last Friday, Theta Lewis found damage to one of their headstones. She contacted Sunnyvale Police and Fox 4's Sean Rabb. The Long Creek Cemetery here in Sunnyvale established in the early 1900s and no one can remember any kind of incident of vandalism until now. It was laying down there and she got it and brought it to me and I said, oh, I just broke down. I said, oh, no, no. Theta Lewis lamenting the memorial photo on the headstone of her father-in-law, Alvy Lewis, damaged sometime between April 30th and May 6th. I just started crying. I cried all day. There are markings or defects in the headstone and the photo itself. Ms. Lewis thinks someone took shots at the headstone portraits. Sunnyvale Police Department is investigating. We're not sure if it's a gun um, as much as it might be like a pellet. Uh, maybe it was uh, kids shooting a BB gun or a pellet gun of some sort. Our detectives are still working on that. Alvy's wife, B, died in 1957. He died in 1964. Theta Lewis has been coming to her in-law's graves every week for 58 years. To find his memorial photo on the ground and scarred, hurtful. It hurt me so bad because that's my father-in-law and I really did love him. He was a good man. Lieutenant Bill Vegas says there's been no other vandalism victims nor neighbors reporting any nighttime noises. This is as surprising to us as it is to uh, to our victim. I said, you know what, I'm going to make me up a sign and put an award on there and see if I can't get something done. She's posted her handwritten sign at the entrance to the cemetery. One person's contacted police offering to match her $500 reward. Lewis leaning on her faith that reward makes a difference. That's what I hope of and pray for. Well, what I hope happens is that the public reaches out uh, that somebody saw something on the night that this occurred, um, that we get some, we're able to develop some leads. Um, to desecrate a, a headstone in a cemetery is just unacceptable. So we, we need help. Right now, only one incident. Police certainly hope there'll be no more. They also hope if anyone knows something, they'll reach out, contact the Sunnyvale Police Department, and help bring Theta Lewis some peace. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.